Hello everyone, I'm Mikro with the Funky High Vibes coming at you with another review. This one, we're going to review the Wild Kuan Yin Oracle by Alana Fairchild. And I gotta say, because I do have the other Kuan Yin there, Oracle that she's got, and I was like, eh, how this one's going to be different, right? But it really is not just different, but it expands on the energy of Kuan Yin. The other one leaves Kuan Yin as this goddess energy, which of course she is. Um, as this very loving bodhisattva as she is, but it kind of puts her on a pedestal in a sense, which I appreciate. Don't get me wrong. I'm actually saying this as a compliment. <laughs> but the wild Kuan Yin, she kind of steps off the pedestal and she becomes one with her teachings. She becomes kind of one with you. She's more wild and free and flowing. So it's kind of like a, a shamanic version of the Kuan Yin Oracle by Alana Fairchild. Uh, because you have all the buffalo energy, you have a lot of the, the that Eastern philosophy, Eastern energy. But it's almost like, because it feels like the other Kuan Yin Oracle, she's in a temple, right? But the wild Kuan Yin, she is out of the temple. And she is now amidst society and humanity and really helping us out. They're both incredibly deep decks incredibly beautiful decks so i recommend both of them honestly but today we're going to review the wild Kuan Yin. and just like any other blue angel deck it comes in this big box very sturdy you open it up like this and it's a beautiful really beautiful uh cobalt blue is that cobalt who knows <laughs> but i kind of also love the contrast of that blue with this beautiful red you know these backs are stunning and you have like, I don't know if you guys can see like little like dragons in the back here. Then you have this gorgeous mandala. So just like, just like the Alana Fairchild style, you're not going to get a small book. You're going to get a very thick book and you're not going to get small messages either. <laughs> you're going to get, you know, uh, this is like two pages in a little bit. This one is one, two, let's say two and a half pages. So yeah, you're going to get through a lot. This one is one, two, yeah. So this one is two pages. Uh, so then you're going to have the small message, a large guidance that goes all the way. And then you have inner reading. Then you have the healing process. The healing process is very beautiful. And I love that Alana Fairchild does this because the healing process is a mini ritual or a little meditation or a little visualization that you can do for each card. Each card comes with its own healing, um, the healing process. So I kind of love that. And also I kind of love, even though it is a lot of information for one card, you don't need to read the whole thing. If you're kind of more in a hurry, you can just read this little part and you're going to get a lot of it. If you have more time, you can read this small snippet, you can read the guidance, or you can just read in a, in a reading and you can kind of pick out what, you, what relates to you. So if you're in a hurry, it, you can totally still use this deck. And if you have more time, you can do the healing process and it'll be incredibly healing and helpful. So let's go for the cards. This deck in particular, I edged it in red. It does not come this way. It comes in white, but I wanted to compliment, you know, but I kind of, I think I'm going to go for one more coat because this red is so beautiful and vibrant. And then the edges are kind of like faded and pink. <laughs> uh, so anyway. They're out of order because I, I've I used this deck <laughs> quite a bit. So you have Blessing of the Kite Dancer. You have Safe to Fall. The Slave Dances into Freedom. Wild, wet, wild Red Rider, Blessing Bestowed. Lady of Lasha descends. Sorry, Lasa. Now, here's one thing about this deck that annoys me a little bit is that you have vertical cards and you have horizontal cards. I personally, I prefer if they're all the same orientation, but honestly, this deck is so stunning and also really powerful that I'm really not super bothered by it, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so we have. Uh, surrender, sensitive sister, remo be moved by the moon. 
Grandmother Dragonfly holds the wisdom. Sisters of the Sacred Spiral. The Princess of Red Poppies. <laughs> now, another thing that Alana Fairchild does that uh, it can, it's okay, because we, you know, if you know who she is and her style, but sometimes it's a little harder because, you know, it's not very easy. Like, for example, the Grandmother Dragonfly holds the wisdom. I can understand or I can divine, right, that I need to bring in the Grandmother energy, which is the Elder energy, the wisdom of the Elders, right? Listening to your Elders. And Dragonfly holds the wisdom. So the Dragonfly has to do with change. Every time you see a Dragonfly animal, it has to do with big changes coming into your life, right? So then we know that the, a Grandmother dragonfly those two energies are kind of are coming in holding wisdom for myself there's going to be a change that will bring me wisdom but when it comes to the prince of the red poppies for example i'm not quite sure how to read this card without looking at the book maybe that's just me maybe you can read this and go i know exactly what that means for myself <laughs> and that's awesome and that's awesome and that's why i love this deck and that's why I, I, I'm a big fan of Alana Fairchild, as a lot of us are. But, you know, some of her decks, some of her cards, like Grandmother Ensures Safe Crossing. Again, I love this one because to me, the Grandmother is is an energy of, ancest of ancestors, right? Um, so my ancestors are ensuring that I'm crossing in a safe way. They're ensuring that I'm moving forward in a safe way, that I'm safe, supported, and guided. But then when it comes to the Princess of Red Poppies, I'm not quite sure what to make of this deck unless I read the book. I'm sorry, of the card, unless I read the book. Moving on, we have the Priestess of Perfect Pairing Makes the Match. This would be an awesome card to get in a love reading. <laughs> Her Hand Gentles the War. This one to you, is a, it's a bit easier to divine from the, um, from the words. Princess of Purity leaps across. Above you, the Lantern Dancer. The Snow Shepherdess. Sacred Falcon shows the way. The art of this deck is so beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful art for a deck I've ever seen. Let me see if I can find... Oh, here we go. Here's this is the other Kuan Yin Oracle, in case you're wondering. <laughs> here, the artist The artist is Wang uh, Yiguang. I'm so sorry if I butchered your name, but it's Wang Yiguang. You can read it right here. <laughs> um, so yeah, absolutely awesome. Love that. I do, I, lo I do love the artwork. You know, I love the buffalo with the very, like, um, native... Um, native customs, native outfits, native like rituals that, that they're doing. Got the Holy Sisters, Tender Trust, Beloved Body. Her joy overcomes gravity. <laughs> love that. And I love how she's like floating and the buffalo is also floating with her. It's so beautiful. Daughters of the Red Tent. See, this one, I'm not quite sure what to make of it either. Daughters of the Red Tent. I'm not sure what that means. Unless I look at the book. Be led by the path before you. Play with me. <laughs> That's beautiful. It takes, like, such big animals. And it makes them so gentle. <laughs> you know, and light. They're all floating around. It's so beautiful. Sacred Sherpa guides you beyond... Desert Harvest. Sister of Shambhala shows the way. She rides with wild spirit unbroken. <laughs> Let your world spin on its axis as she does a cartwheel. That's beautiful. Fearless. You don't need more than that. Remember me, the Divine Mother within. Blessing of the Kata bestowed. Anchor to fly. 
the little one rises. Ancestral Guardians of Light. <laughs> I love this one. Grace in Full Flight. Sisters of the Spring Swallow. Good fortune granted. <laughs> Grandmother of Love. Granddaughter of Life. I love how they're mirroring each other. White Mantra Mother Protects. Harvest Mother Watches Over Me. Pray to the East. Guardian Watches Over the West. Blue Mother, Yellow Mountain, Gibbous Moon. <laughs> she tames by laying down the staff and rope. Blessing to begin. And hold on to me. <laughs> so yeah, the artwork is one of the most beautiful artworks I've seen in, a in an Oracle deck. And... I don't know if you could tell by the images and by the words of the decks, of the cards, but it is an incredibly deep deck. Um, I don't read with this deck with like spreads. I don't really do like three card spreads. The most I'll do is like two because you saw that I like to spend time with this deck. I don't like to rush the messages, but that's just me personally. Like I said, you know, you on the book there's it's broken down by inner reading, by message, by healing process, by guidance. So you can read this deck, you know, just like you're reading any other oracle. But because the messages are so deep and meaningful, I like to spend a little more time with this car, with this deck before I kind of like rush off and go about my day because it's incredibly deep and incredibly insightful and very healing, just like the energy of Kuan Yin is. So if you haven't gotten this deck, go for it. I highly recommend it. <laughs> so um, yeah, much love out there, guys. Thank you.